To safely reopen, counties in California are being asked to increase their testing and tracing capabilities. And with Tulare County being a hotspot, we spoke with a health official about whether they're on track to meet the state's requirements. We now welcome Carrie Montero with the Tulare County Health and Human Services Agency. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to talk about testing in the South Valley in Tulare County, obviously in particular. And our, I'm sure that I know the testing has been ramping up in Tulare County, just like the other um, counties in the Central Valley. What is the situation? Are there adequate tests for people who need or want to be tested? You are correct, Stephanie. Thank you for having me. And we have increased our testing capacity here in Tulare County, as many other counties have done across the valley. And it's attributed to our public health officials, our health care providers, our hospitals, our local labs and commercial labs that are making huge strides to increase our local testing capacities. We have also been fortunate here in Tulare County that we have two new testing sites up and running in the city of Dinuba and the city of Porterville, both at their memorial buildings in an effort that the governor and the state has put forth to bring greater testing capacities to rural areas. And those are welcome to take appointments. There's been a real game changer with these two new sites. We've changed and the state has changed the guidelines to get tested. Now at Porterville and Dinuba, you do not have to be showing symptoms. We're able to test individuals who are asymptomatic. We also no longer need a recommendation from a doctor. Individuals who are looking to get tested can go to those two sites and make an appointment and get tested. You also, if you do not have insurance, the state will cover the costs of getting tested. This is huge to support us in our surveillance as we increase our testing and, and getting our residents tested. Individuals who would like to get tested in Tulare County at these two new sites, one in Dinuba and one in Porterville, can make an appointment by simply calling 888-634-1123 or visit our website, covid19.tularecounty.ca gov and register to get tested. All right, that's all fantastic, and particularly with Dinuba and Porterville being hot spots in Tulare County, so that's fantastic news. The state has uh, issued guidelines for each county in terms of the number of tests that uh, that they would like to see. What Do you know offhand what the number is that are being tested on a daily basis, and what are the goals for the county once these testing facilities really ramp up and people begin to, to come on in. What are, what are you hoping to achieve? We are hoping to achieve the goal that the governor set forth as a metric to be able to check the box per se that we are making strides in our testing. And that metric is conducting 1.5 tests a day per 100,000 residences. Now, today, with the increase of our testing capacity at these two new sites, as well as every day our local healthcare systems are coming online to do more testings, we're getting closer to reach that goal. However, we don't know if we've reached it because we are still under capacity in our testing. As the data comes in this week and more folks are getting tested, we are looking to increase the capacity. Uh, these testing sites have huge capacities, but we haven't met them yet because people are not going to get tested. Oh, well, so hopefully we can help spread the word and, and now they know they can do that. What about contact tracing? That's the follow up when someone does, you know, be, have a positive test. Um, are you sufficiently staffed? Or are you tr hoping to increase the staff of contact tracers so that part of the, the puzzle can be completed? Yes, we are looking to increase staff. We have a large staff here at Tulare County working seven days a week for when the call comes in that we have a positive case, 
we are expediting the contact tracing with that individual, letting them know of what is available to them in, in getting them self-quarantined and then finding their whereabouts at wherever future possible exposures. Mm -hmm. We have more work to do to increase our staffing capacity because our staff is getting fatigued so we're looking to bring in additional resources for two things, to increase our staffing numbers, to help correlate as we increase our testing, we're gonna get new cases, but also to provide relief as we are anticipating this to be an ongoing effort in the months to head that it, we don't see that it's gonna be getting easier over time. So we want to increase our staffing as well as increase it so we can provide relief to our contact. All research. right, that's an excellent plan. Carrie Montero with the Tulare County Department of Health. We appreciate your time and best of luck there in the South Valley. Thank you.